of a virtual hug and air hug. And I think you should join me, reach your arms out and embrace yourself. This is me hugging you, trying to be a blessing in your lives. And speaking of blessings, I love the rain. It's a wonderful blessing. And I have to say the very first uh, opening song we had, it was like God joined in with the rain, with the music and that deep drum of the song that was being played by Brad and his friend. Um, as I prepared today, I read the scriptures found in the worship's helps. I previewed the service outline. I found it to be very similar to the last time I spoke. So I got to be thinking about section 155 and how much of an impact it was in my life as a, as a youth going on caravans and being a witness. And you know the call is for Zion to go out and to witness and to be that testimony. Um, so I kept thinking, well, so what is God trying to tell me right now? He's having me speak about the same things repetitively. And that's good. That's okay. Um, sometimes we, we need to repeat things over and over. Perhaps 77 times 7. Section 155, verses 7 and 8. They're good ones. They remind us to trust in the gospel, to test God's word, and to go forth and be a witness. And that's exactly what we did on that mission trip. We were, they were teaching us how to be that witness. How do you be a witness? How do you tell your story to others? How can we set ourselves free from the chains that we put on ourselves? Well, we have to recognize that we are putting chains on. As a mother to an eight-year-old girl, I notice the words she says to herself when she's sad or mad. Josie has ADHD, inattentive type, and I am an ADHD parent. <laughs> what that means is our day-to-day -day activities, well, things can get off track really easily. Josie, can you go put your shoes on? This can get interrupted when she sees anything else that she would rather be doing. Of course, that's a child anyway, but still, she wants to pet the cat, do a little dance, slide across the floor, jump on the couch. They're all better ideas than putting on your shoes before the bus gets here. So it is difficult as a parent to remain in a neutral state of emotions as you repeat the request for the sixth time. It's difficult not to yell it's difficult to remember she is not doing this for spite. She is honestly distracted and unable to focus. I remember being that little girl. I remember the consequences of my inattentiveness. I often got yelled at too. <laughs> I remember being super sensitive to all words that were spoken to me. So I adjusted my eye to be hypervigilant, obsessive, and critical to avoid any consequences I might, not, I might get if I didn't. <laughs> oh, how the chains have weighed me down over the years. And how the sadness has crept into my life now as I watch my child go through the same struggle. My determination is to help her find skills and tools so she can have a better childhood. Moms, we worry, don't we? When you hear the negative self-talk of a child, you cringe down deep into your bones. My heart is broken for my child when she is in need. I want her chains to fall to the ground now before her burdens are too great. Who can give blessings? Who can bless God's people? The theme today? bless God's people. Doesn't that mean we have to stop long enough to drop our own chains so that we can see the needs of others? We have to refine our eyes to see. We have to have compassion to let our hearts break for one another. Most of all, we need to move 
take action so we can take the chains off the link, the links off the chains that we have made. One of my favorite books that I'm reading to my kids right now is How to Fill Your Bucket for Kids by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. I'm a visual learner. Most young kids are visual learners too, to a certain age. Here's Felix and his sister getting into a fight and now they're both crying. Grandpa comes up and shakes his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad, but when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Learning about someone else's bucket can help you understand your own. I think this understanding is just one way we can be a blessing to God's people. Our self-awareness grows, our compassion grows, our generosity grows, and our self-love grows. It's a win-win, 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 win, win. The struggle to get there is very real. I can't deny that. Moms need a vacation. <laughs> this mom needs a vacation. I recognize my bucket and I'm filling it by reaching out to those who can see my bucket. Now that's a big executive skill that it took me a very, 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 very long time to learn. I'm not the best at it. I'm aware that if I need something, I, I should take action for myself. No one will play with me at recess. That's the one I said to myself many, many times as a child. I still say it to myself once in a while, but now I catch myself. Tools have been learned and I have learned to take action. Squirrel. Oh, oh, oops, what was I talking about? <laughs> Distractions. There are plenty in life, most definitely. How can you tell your story and be a witness that gives a blessing to God's people? I have shared a glimpse of my world. I have shared my burdens and I have been blessed in my journey by many individuals who are able to see my bucket. Towards the end of the book, Felix finally gets it too. Let me help you. Drop, drop. Here's your baseball. Thanks, dude. Drop, drop. I'm Felix, first day. Yeah, I'm Amir. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop that he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another one drop in his own bucket. And I have to say that it's very ironic it's raining today because I want you to notice that God is trying to fill your buckets today. Felix finally understands in the end. Felix is a blessing to God's people. I want you to be the same. I hope you see your bucket. I hope you see your neighbor's bucket. And I want your heart to break for one another. Give your blessings to God's people in your words and in your deeds and fill a bucket. <laughs>